there's a couple ways you can zoom in your reels. You can either have a wide shot, then cut right to a tight shot, or you can do a zoom in from the wide shot to the tight shot. I'm gonna show you how to do both in this video. I made something special just for you. The Reels Blueprint is a free guide that shows you how to plan, film, and post short form videos that actually feel like you. Grab yours using the link in my description and start showing up on camera with confidence. Woo woo! This is a clip of me working. And say for example, I wanna zoom into them and then zoom out to me working. So say I wanna reveal the fact, I'm just gonna make this clip a little bit shorter. So click on that clip, split, and then delete. So say I want it to start with a shot of just them and then go out and reveal that I'm here. So in Instagram Reels, I want it to go from, from zoomed in so it just shows them working to showing me photographing them. So what I wanna do is I first wanna make two different clips from this. So I wanna put a split into where I want it to go from zoomed in to not zoomed in. So I'm gonna click on the clip and I'm gonna make a split. So I want this clip to look like this, but I want this first one to look zoomed in. So what I can do is I can click on the clip, so I can go down here at the bottom and press crop, and then I can zoom in, and then so you can see it's from zoomed in and it goes to wide. It's a little, in if you do this in Instagram Reels, it's a little bit finicky and it doesn't work as well as it does in Instagram edits. So I suggest you do an in Instagram edits and then I'm gonna show you like the zoom in effect that you can do in Instagram edits. So let's go over to Instagram edits and let's add that same clip. There we go. So I have that same clip and I want it to go from zoomed in on them to zoomed out. So let's split there and let's delete that end because I just need it to be, oh, I'll make it a little longer. So you can grab the ends to extend it to what you want. And you can see here, it's gonna show me on top um, how long that clip is gonna be. So let's put it down to, let's go five seconds, perfect. And so what you can do here is you're going to see this triangle with a plus. What that does is it allows it to add like a point in there where it's going to start and stop the movement. So say for example, I want this zoomed in. It's much easier to zoom in in Instagram edits. You just zoom in with your fingers. So you can see it's right here. And say, so I want it to be zoomed in here and then say I want it to start zooming out from here. From the point that you want it to start zooming out, you press this little plus sign. And then let's say I want it fully zoomed out here. So I go, once I have that plus sign plus, Pressed, I move it to where I want it zoomed out. And so now I can pinch my fingers and do the new movement that I want. Perfect. And then so now when you watch it, it's gonna go from here, zoom out, and then it's gonna show the thing. And then if I wanna make it faster, I click on that again, minus it, and then put it closer to that first point, zoom it out, and I have a zoom out effect that's a little faster. So this is great because you are able to go in and like adjust different parts of the video for what you want it to do. And it's a lot more fun with the zooms than what we were able to do in Instagram and just do that cut because we're not able to do those keyframes in there quite yet in Instagram Reels. So Instagram edits allows you to make it look more dynamic. So I strongly suggest if you haven't started working in Instagram edits, try it out. I have a bunch of videos showing you how to do it. And it just allows you for a better experience and a better editing software that's free all around.